going beyond alkanes. This chart tells us how to name compounds other than alkanes. So the name will consist of a prefix. The prefix will be before infix and suffix, and it will tell us how many carbons there are. So prefix goes first. And prefix will be, for example, math for one carbon, ath for two carbons, pro for three carbons, and so on, the prefixes that you had to memorize before. This will be followed by infix, which tells us whether we have a single, double, or triple bond. So if we have a single bond, the infix will be an. If we have a double bond, we will see in, alkene. And if we have a triple bond, it will be yn for alkyne. Then the bending of the class of compound is what our suffix will be. So if we just have a hydrocarbon, just hydrogens and carbons, the suffix will be e at the end. If we have an alcohol, our name will end in ol. If we have an aldehyde, the name will end in al. Amine will end in amine. Ketone will end in own, ketone, on, and carboxylic acid will end in oic acid. Let's go ahead and put this knowledge together and do this problem. This problem says following are IUPAC names and structural formulas for four compounds. Divide each name into a prefix, infix, and a suffix, and specify the information about the structural formula that, it contain, that is contained in each part of the name. So let's go ahead and start with A. A says propene. Prop is the prefix, and it tells us that there are three carbons. One, two, three. Then we have in. And that tells us that we have a double bond. Remember, if we have EN here, that means we have a double bond. And the ending is E. E tells us that we have a hydrocarbon. I'm just going to write hydrocarbon. So propene tells us that we have a three carbon molecule that has a double bond and only, hydrocar only carbons and hydrogens are there. Next is ethanol. Eth is the prefix. It tells us that we have two carbons. N tells us that we have all single bonds. That's the infix. And all tells us that we have an alcohol. So let's look at this. We have two carbons, all single bonds, and we have an alcohol. Next one is pentanoic acid. Pent tells us that we have five carbons, that's the prefix. N tells us that we have all single bonds, that's the infix. And oic acid tells us that we have carboxylic acid. Finally, we have ethine. Eth tells us that we have two carbons. And ein tells here it tells us that we have a triple bond and E at the end tells us that we have a hydrocarbon chain. So we have only hydrogens and carbons.